Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to store JWT inside cookies. Okay, let's get it started. First of all, why we store JWT inside cookies instead of local storage? Reason is when we store JWTs in local storage or session storage, we cannot add expiring time. In cookies storage, we can add that one. So I hope you remember when we do backend development, we add the expiring time. Okay. But in the front end, when it expires, we need to know when it expired. Okay. So when you add local storage or session storage, you cannot find that one. So in this way, this token will be removed automatically after this time ends. Okay. All right. Before I explain the clause, please subscribe to my channel. I want to give you free high quality content for the rest of my life okay if you want to know more about cookie storage session storage and local storage let me know by adding a comment i will create a separate video for that one okay let's start coding first you have to install universal cookie package and jwt decode package okay after you install that one go to sign in function and get the user this is just like same before but here we decode that token after we decode that token we get some information let me show you an example here this is an example here this exp means expiring time this is the user ID. okay let's go to the code here we get the token and we decode it and then we add the expiring time here according to the decoded dot exp okay so what i have done is we have to create new date here i need to get decoded exp here i added the typescript type so we need to add that one if you are using typescript only if not without this part it will work so here we need to get decoded exp the key thing you must remember is jwt give expiring time in seconds but when we create a date the time must be in milliseconds therefore i have to convert it by multiplying it by now the expiring time is set i'm gonna remove this console lock and you have to add the same thing in sign up function also when you sign out you have to add cookie remove and the key that's it in the api file when you create the axios api you have to get the token from cookie here you don't have to decode the token you just get the token from cookie then you add that token as the authorization okay let me show you the example now here I'm gonna sign in now it works just like before nothing has changed okay that's the end of this video so make sure you use the cookies when you add jwt's in the front end it is the best practice okay in my previous videos i used local storage so this is the better way from now on let's use this method okay thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one have a nice day